Yes, good morning. Olympic star Ali Raisman is speaking up about John Geddert's suicide. Geddert's long been on a list of alleged enablers of Larry Nasser, and survivors of his say these charges were a long time coming. A disturbing scene at a rest stop in Grand Ledge Thursday. Olympic gymnastics coach John Getter took his own life before he was scheduled to turn himself into authorities in Eaton County. He faced charges for two dozen crimes against his female athletes, among them human trafficking. He was the fifth person to face charges for his alleged role in the Larry Nasser sex scandal. Nasser, the former team doctor, is spending the rest of his life in prison after sexually abusing scores of female gymnasts. Dana Nessel, Michigan's attorney general, had announced Gettert was charged with 20 counts of human trafficking, two counts of sexual assault, and other felony charges. The victims suffer from uh, disordered eating, including bulimia and anorexia, suicide attempts and self-harm, excessive physical conditioning. Mr. Gettert knew that Nasser was uh, sexually abusing these patients and that he failed to take action, and that when he was asked about it, uh, by police officers during the 2016 investigation into Nasser, he lied about them. John Geddert is also accused of enabling Nasser. Survivor Rachel Denhollander, who spoke with Seven Action News, is the first to expose Nasser. John never tried to hide his behavior. Um, you know, the the yelling, the screaming, even the throwing equipment and water bottles and things at the girls. You know, the starvation and not allowing his gymnasts to eat. He's also accused of enabling Nasser. Among Nasser's victims, Olympic gold medalist Ali Reisman who tweeted, sick to my stomach, thinking of the survivors out there, wish there was more I could say to ease the pain and suffering. Also, why is there still no independent investigation? How many more children have to suffer? Survivors also called out John Geddert in January of 2018 at Nasser's trial. There isn't one bone in my body that doesn't hate John Geddert for everything he has done to me in my career. And court records state that Gettard victimized athletes ages 13 to 16 years old. Reporting live this morning, Darren Cunningham, 7 Action News. All right, thank you so much, Darren. It's just a disturbing story all the way around.